Neck Dissection, Wikipedia Article Audio The neck dissection is a surgical procedure for control of neck lymph node metastasis. This can be done for clinically or radiologically evident lymph nodes or as part of curative surgery where risk of occult nodal metastasis is deemed sufficiently high. The aim of the procedure is to remove lymph nodes from the neck into which cancer cells may have migrated. Metastasis of tumors into the lymph nodes of the neck is one of the strongest prognostic indicators for head and neck cancer. The metastases may originate from tumors of the upper aerodigestive tract, including the oral cavity, tongue, nasopharynx, oropharynx, hypopharynx, and larynx, as well as the thyroid, parotid and posterior scalp. Neck nodal metastasis can sometimes also originate from lung cancer or intra-abdominal malignancy. However, Neck dissection is rarely performed for such purposes. History of Neck Dissections Division of the neck into levels and sublevels Staging of head and neck cancer Classification of neck dissections Lymph nodes in a particular region are numerous and generally referred to in groups. It is impossible to dissect through all the soft tissue to remove individual lymph nodes. As such the neck dissection is the end block resection of all soft tissue in the region including all the lymph nodes and structures passing through them. In the case of a neck dissection, this entails the resection of everything within the superficial layer of deep cervical fascia. Where deemed excessively morbid the structures within are conserved. These include the carotid and in some instances the three structures, IJV, SCM, and accessory nerve. Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center developed the lymph node regional definitions most widely used today. To describe the lymph nodes of the neck for neck dissection, the neck is divided into six areas called levels. The levels are identified by Roman numeral, increasing towards the chest. A further level 7 to denote lymph node groups in the superior mediastinum is no longer used. Instead, lymph nodes in other non-neck regions are referred to by the name of their specific nodal groups. Region 2, 3, 4, nodes associated with the IJV fibroadipose tissue located medial to the posterior border of SCM and lateral to the border of the sternohyoid. The staging of head and neck cancer includes a classification for nodal disease. It is important to note the critical difference in size of nodes with breakpoints at 3 and 6 cm. The staging system for head and neck malignancies considers all malignancies with palpable cervical adenopathy as stage 3 or stage 4, reflecting the grim prognostic implications of palpable nodal disease. The most important prognostic indicator in patients with squamous carcinoma of the head and neck remains the status of the cervical lymph nodes. NX, regional lymph nodes cannot be assessed. N0, no regional lymph node metastasis. N1, metastasis in a single ipsilateral lymph node, 3 cm or less in greatest dimension. N2A, metastasis in a single ipsilateral lymph node more than 3 cm but not more than 6 cm in greatest dimension. N2B, Metastasis in multiple ipsilateral lymph nodes, none more than 6 cm in greatest dimension. N2C, metastasis in bilateral or contralateral nodes, no more than 6 cm in greatest dimension. N3, metastasis in a lymph node more than 6 cm in greatest dimension. The 2001 revisions proposed by the American Head and Neck Society and the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery are as follows. 
The radical neck dissection is defined as removing all of the lymphatic tissue in regions IV including removal of the spinal accessory nerve, sternocleidomastoid muscle, and internal jugular vein. It does not include removal of the suboccipital nodes, periparotid nodes except for infraparotid nodes located in the posterior aspect of the submandibular triangle, buccal nodes, retropharyngeal nodes, or paratracheal nodes. Modified radical neck dissection is defined as excision of all lymph nodes routinely removed by radical neck dissection with preservation of one or more non-lymphatic structures, i.e., SAN, IJV, SCM. Medina subclass IFES the MRND into types I3, where type I MRND preserves the SAN, type 2 MRND preserves the SAN and IJV, and type 3 MRND preserves the SAN, IJV, and SCM. The type 3 MRND is also referred to as the functional neck dissection as popularized by Baca. However in his classic description the submandibular gland is not excised. Selective neck dissection is defined as any type of cervical lymphadenectomy where there is preservation of one or more lymph node groups removed by the radical neck dissection. There are four common subtypes, the first of which is the suprahomohyoid neck dissection. This removes lymph tissue contained in regions I3. The posterior limit of the dissection is marked by the cutaneous branches of the cervical plexus and the posterior border of the SCM. The inferior limit is the superior belly of the omohyoid muscle where it crosses the IJV. The second subtype, posterolateral neck dissection, refers to the removal of the suboccipital lymph nodes, retroauricular lymph nodes, levels 2-4 and level V. This procedure is used most often to remove nodal disease from cutaneous melanoma of the posterior scalp and neck. Originally described by Rockland in 1962, the SAN, SCM, and IJV were preserved. Medina suggests subclassification of the posterior lateral neck dissection to types I3 to mirror preservation of SAN, IJV, and SCM as in MRND. The lateral neck dissection removes lymph tissue in levels 2-4. Anterior neck dissection is the last subtype of selective neck dissection and refers to the removal of lymph nodes surrounding the visceral structures of the anterior aspect of the neck previously defined as level 6. The last major subtype is the extended neck dissection defined literally as removal of one or more additional lymph node groups and slash or non-lymphatic structures not encompassed by radical neck dissection, such as parapharyngeal, superior mediastinal, and paratracheal. In practice, any of the previous neck dissections may be extended to include other structures. With those definitions in place, the evolution and current indications of the various neck dissections shall be discussed. Much of original article seems based on neck dissection, classification, indication, and technique Buckingham 1998. Region I, Submental and Submandibular Triangles IA is the submental triangle bound by the anterior bellies of the digus trick and the mylohyoid. IB is the triangle formed by the anterior and posterior bellies of the digus trick and body of mandible. Region 2, upper third including the upper jugular and jugulotogastric nodes and the upper posterior cervical nodes. Region bound by the digus trick muscle superiorly and the hyoid bone or the carotid bifurcation inferiorly. IIA contains nodes in the region anterior to the spinal accessory nerve and IIB postero superior to the nerve, region 3, middle third jugular nodes extending from the carotid bifurcation superiorly to the cricothyroid notch, or inferior edge of cricoid cartilage, or omohyoid muscle, region 4 
lower jugular nodes extending from the omohyoid muscle superiorly to the clavicle inferiorly, region V, posterior triangle group of lymph nodes located along the lower half of the spinal accessory nerve, and the transverse cervical artery. The supraclavicular nodes are also included in this group. The posterior boundary is the anterior border of the trapezius muscle, the anterior boundary is the posterior border of the sternocleidomastoid muscle, and the inferior boundary is the clavicle, region 6, anterior compartment group comprises lymph nodes surrounding the midline visceral structures of the neck extending from the level of the hyoid bone superiorly to the suprasternal notch inferiorly. On each side, the lateral boundary is the medial border of the carotid sheath. Located within this compartment are the perithyroidal lymph nodes, paratracheal lymph nodes, lymph nodes along the recurrent laryngeal nerves, and precricoid lymph nodes.